Dun, 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 dun. That should be the new intro. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> game Devs Play Games. Game Devs Play Games. Hey, everybody. Co-op. Game Devs Play Games. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That screen, it, like, shakes hardcore. Not when I pick something. Mine's oh, really? Like casual. Yours is all, like, crazy. I don't know. It's like a these characters feedback on here, like, thing, I, I love that Fish is on a log playing the fucking guitar. He's over here eating something like a dog. He's a very he won't let this play. little guy go. He's... <laughs> I can't actually tell what he's doing. That is kind of funny. So, ooh, 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 we're going to pause. All right, let's, uh, let's try this again. So I, I was trying to point out a bug because... So, okay, move move to the left twice. Yeah, like hold over uh, the crystal guy. Crystal guy? Yeah, so if I move to the left, where I would normally oh, select like crystal, it like jitters so i have to move twice tap twice to actually select my character that's weird but i think if we do that enough times that's what caused the game to crash that's, that's my theory that's awesome as a as a qa that seems like all right so we're gonna co-op this yeah boom i guess oh. i'll choose fish I, no that's no, fine i was gonna choose fish but it was just oops ah uh, well dude <laughs> no oh wait am i yep all right perfect Okay, so he's using the controller. Oh no. Oop, oop, already sucking. Yeah, uh, we were testing it out before we started recording, and uh, I already really like the adjustments they made to the gamepad. I think, I don't think that before they had uh, sort of a range. See how I'm like kind of stretching out my cursor to the side? I think before it was just like an all or, or nothing kind of situation. Um, but I, I think they made the gamepad play a lot better. Which in turn makes cooperative play. I don't know what gun that is. Much easier. Oh, okay. So I think we both get this level up. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, so we have Euphoria slower enemy bullets, energy weapons deal more damage, more speed walk normal on terrain, and mutate later. Oh, mutate later. Hell yeah. Let's find out what that does. Oh, laser gun. Gun, pick it up. Ooh yeah, baby. Hmm. I already have so much crossbow Oop. ammo. Don't want to ah. use that yet. So something else. We'll probably see this at some point, but we also discovered that there's now a revive mechanic, um, which before... You were telling me, Nathan, that before you had to, like, get a super health pack, right? You Yeah, there, were, there was, like, a treasure... Uh, like, health treasure chests, and it, you those would show up if you were really injured. It, so you would get those instead of getting the regular uh, super like the treasure chest that gave you cool weapons mm -hmm. and so you were actually you're actually uh, like if you somebody was dead you'd get those to revive somebody but because of that you wouldn't get the super cool weapon all right so our options so, are so awesome so we didn't actually level up so mutate later i think just means that you level up in the next transition which is really interesting um i wonder if the point of that though is i wonder if the mutations get better as the game progresses I have no idea. So it's like a sort of delayed gratification type of deal. If that's true, that's really interesting. It's it's a very minor benefit, I think. But like, I, I guess it's a way to regenerate the the options on the table too. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. We'd have to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm I'm thinking Rhino Skin because yeah, I think that's because I want to have a decently board. long playthrough. <laughs> yeah. Especially with uh, players like us that are inevitably going to take a decent amount of damage. It actually, see, the funny thing is, having two people on a field becomes a little more chaotic. Right, it's a lot harder to pay attention to your your guy. Fortunately, they chose good color schemes, because I think right now I'm, what, green and you're blue? Uh, no, I am green and you are purple. No, 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 I mean our cursors. Here, you can, ah, crap, I was supposed to, ah. Uh, I, my per cursor is purple and yours is green. The opposite color of what our okay. characters actually are. Yeah, so basically, even color blindness isn't really going to, like, affect me here. Which is really nice change, because it affects, like, half the games that I play. Oh. Ooh. Man, it would have been really nice were I there to... If you were there to block things. <laughs> I wonder, you also blocked my shots, right? Uh, Turn into a crystal. I don't remember. No! Oh, it might have used ooh, to. You should. 
pick up that slugger. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, get rid of the pistol? Yeah. It doesn't leave me with a ton of ammo, but Whatever. I guess I'll find more weapons. You're more as defensive. We, go. we need you to have more bombastic things <laughs> and just let me fire all the crazy bullets. It's true. I'm still very useful <laughs> when I run out of ammo. Yeah. No, no damage, damage from, from explosions. explosions. Eh. But we have a lot of health now, so. Yeah. That obviously helps me, but only me push through. Uh, I wonder if it's. So I wonder if, like, if you just burn through a bunch of walls, does that consume my? Limit? Do we share it or yeah. do we both have it? Let's find out. That's that's an interesting design thing too, because I feel like if I was already worried of that breaking the game with one player, I imagine it's even worse if you have like multiple players in the mix. And this only goes up to two players, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I just found out actually why it's actually harder with two players. Um, because uh, y while you move, the screen moves, and because of that, the where my cursor actually is. Oh. In comparison to the enemy also moves. So your accuracy is going to go down significantly. Yeah, that makes sense. And there's the obvious disadvantage Ow. of the fact that we have to share um, experience. Although, I guess we probably... Stop oh, moving. does it benefit us both when one of us picks up experience? Yes, it benefits us both, but we do not share ammo. Did that always... Oh, was hammer. that always the case? Uh, I feel like no, it wasn't. We, we had different experience, but like it was weird. It like added them together to figure out what your level was. It was strange. Oh, it's empty. I don't have any ammo. Well, gonna hold on to the slugger for now. Only have four shots in the slugger, though. Oh, I could pick up that jackhammer, technically. Oh, you do have ammo for it. You have... You know what? Why don't I give you the crossbow? Yeah, buddy. And then... There you go, because we both have about the same amount of ammo for the crossbow, but I can actually use the jackhammer. And jack means I have two high power weapons, but I'll take it. What weapon did you actually Oops. replace and get rid of for the crossbow? The slugger. I should probably pick that up instead of maybe the rifle or the pistol. I mean. <laughs> yes. Uh, this jackhammer's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clumsy me. Butter, 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 uh, no, butter. I have absolutely no shotgun ammo. Yeah, well, we'll come across more of those. <laughs> Man, I always have such a hard time remembering to use my ability. Ooh. Oh, I can't. Oh. My my keyboard again is acting weird. Really? Yep. Whoa. No! No! Help. Fine. Get okay. full HP and some ammo. I always thought that oh. was an interesting ability. That's actually pretty good. I mean, right that, that's been around since the early days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Last Resort is it describes it pretty well. I Those are one of those ones, too, where it's like, you pretty much try to avoid it at all costs. But, damn, you get into the position sometimes where you need that. Because we chose the extra HP one, this is actually pretty pretty helpful. I think we go for it. I know. I don't know. I, I, mean, I realize this, that. But we, we could also risk get some it. ammo, and we could both use ammo. That's to true. a degree. Yeah, that's the one thing we don't share is ammo. Yeah. Um, which I think is smart from, from I the agree design too. perspective. Like, it's good that we share experience and that we share the mutations, but ammo I think is good as independent. It's also important because our accuracy, like it, when when we uh, right after we discussed how the cursor changes because you're sharing the screen, it's moving around. Immediately, I was like, "Dude, stop fucking moving! I've just wasted five cross bolt shots trying to hit this guy who isn't moving, and I keep missing because the cursor is changing." Do you think on that end it makes melee combat that much more important in co-op? Possibly. Also, it could mean that if you screw up on melee combat, you are much more likely to get hit. I guess it depends. Like, the jackhammer was very direct in how it hits things, and because of that, I actually don't think it's super good uh, multiplayer. Mm, that's fair. While the katana that does wide arcs would be much better. Oh, absolutely. I think we go for last wish because... Yeah, let's let's do it. You know. All take right, advantage the IDPD of is looking for us. All right. All right. Full ammo, full jackhammer. Uh. Oh, oh. What, what are these little, like flame dudes, do you think? Are they like set giant... Ah, he's still alive! <laughs> uh, I think that's exactly what they are, actually. It's such an interesting... I Like, most of the enemies in this game are pretty interesting, I think. Like, the bandits make perfect sense, right? But then there's like, 
giant salamanders are like crow people. You know, mutants. <laughs> it's just like, how do they think of these? Oh. oh. I guess they had to at least have the bandit, right? Because it's like, it's like the staple. How are you alive? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, another jackhammer. I wouldn't. I mean, I know, I actually, have... you you could replace that pistol with it. That's not a terrible idea. No, oh, never mind. I just Keep picked up a lot of energy. Yep. It's probably because whatever weapon you're holding at the moment increases the chances of getting that ammo. You think so? I, I'm pretty sure it actually does. I think that makes sense. I almost wonder if that's not necessarily always the best thing to do because you want to encourage players Oof. to kind of diversify their weapons, right? Blow up the car. Blow up the car. There we go. I'll protect you. Yeah, protect me. Don't back up. <laughs> I got this. Whoa, oh god. Not against that guy, you don't. He will go through your crystal shields. So that's one thing I think. Uh, 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 get that. Get that health. Get that health. Pretty useful is some sort of cooldown display. I, uh, I think it would be minor, but like, I didn't actually realize that I couldn't oop, start up my. Uh, You're almost dead. Shield. Oh, we there actually we did it. Kill the guys. Ah, we're fine. We're, everything's okay. Oh, that was really risky. Why'd I do it like that? Oh, that's you with the crossbow. I was like, you trying to shoot me, Chris. <laughs> All right, we gotta lure gotta somebody get this in guy, here to get this the... guy right here. Hey, 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 hey buddy, hey, hey buddy, hey. come on, this come way, here. go hey. this way. Come here, come here. Ah, uh, good enough. Oh, you took it. Oh, fuck, yours. Oh, why? I moved away from it. Ah, oh, great job. Wait, maybe if we uh, burrow through here. Oh. Oh, that answers the question about the... Uh... Yep. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come fly at me. Shit, I think I might fly have, with me. I have more. I have more. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Way to blow it. This crow guy should fly at us, though. Uh, yeah, occasionally they do. There he is. Oh, nope. All right. Oh, we got one. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, buddy. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I killed that guy and got the health. Nice. All right. Let's make sure we don't die in here. Okay, well, let's continue this in the next episode. All right. Get ourselves a new... Crown. New crown. Pause screen. Look uh, how awesome we are. <laughs> um, question of the day. Um, Has to do with co-op. Yeah, yeah. We should ask a question about co-op. <laughs> co-op? So co-op. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you think, actually, specifically about the fact that the reticle, your reticle changes uh, compared to where the screen is facing at the moment. The screen's doing kind of one of these based off where the players are. Mm -hmm. So every time he's moving, it's messing up actually where my cursor is shooting. Do you think that that is actually a good adjustment to it to balance out the fact that there are two characters in the game? Do you think that's a balancing mechanic or a failed opportunity? Or what do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Because it really changes the way the game feels. Cool. Well, yeah. thank you for watching and, uh, We'll see you in the next episode. Game does play games. Goodbye. Boo, 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 boo.